Oh, hello. Today we are going to be discussing discounting. And basically when we're talking about discounting, this is a very fundamental concept within the time value of money. And the basic part that we're looking at is that we're taking a cash amount at some point in the future, and then we are relating it back to a present value. Okay, so that's what we're looking at here, present value, future value, and then we have that discount rate, which comes at some point there, which tells us how much we are going to discount. Now, when referring to discounting in general, okay, is that we can think of this in a very similar way to when we walk into a department store, right? In many department stores, we're gonna see something say 25% off, 40% off, you know, we're gonna have all these different discounts. Now. When we take a discount, okay, if we increase the amount of our discount, what happens to the price we're going to pay? Right? We, it was $100. We take a 30% discount. Now it's $70. Okay? If we make that to a 50% discount, now it is $50. Right? And so that's what we're doing with discounting. Okay? And so the larger, this is a, a crucial point, the larger the discount rate is, the lower the present value is going to be. Okay, so we're gonna jump into this a little bit with some equations. Very fundamental one here, uh, which is the present value is equal to our future value divided by one plus r to the t power. Okay, this is a very, very fundamental equation. It's similar to the one we did last time, just rearranged a little bit. And basically what we have here is that we're looking at that future value, that future cash flow we're going to receive, and then we are using our discount rate right here, which is that R, okay? And then we are bringing it back to a present value, okay? Um, so we're just gonna give this example here, is that let's say that we're looking at paying you $100 in one year, okay? So in one year, you're gonna get $100. Well, we wanna know exactly how much that $100 is gonna be worth to us right now. Okay, so we're going to take that $100, okay, and we are going to put that underneath and we're going to say a discount rate, okay? And now this discount rate is determined by a number of things. Most commonly it's used as an opportunity cost. So if I let this $100 out of my hands, what else could that be doing for me, okay? So let's say that, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be using these funds right now um, and I will get paid $100 in one year. Okay, how much is that worth to me right now? Okay, now let's say I could take those same funds and I could stick them into an account at say 5%. Okay, so that's gonna be at 0 0.05. And that's gonna be in one year, right? So T is equal to one. And so this tells us that we have a present value of $95.24. Okay. So that's saying that if I'm going to get $100 in one year from today, is that that would be worth to me right now $95.24, okay? So that would basically, if I put 95.24, that would generate for me a 10% return and, and run, excuse me, a 5% return and run that up to $100, okay? Now, just clarifying that, that notion of the discount rate, okay, so this one here was a 5% discount, okay? What happens if we do a 10% discount, okay? So what we're gonna end up with here is that we're gonna still gonna have that $100, right? Let's say interest rates change and somebody offers me another investment here and I can get 10%, all right? So my discount rate has risen. So what should happen to my present value, right? Think about the sale prices when we discount stuff. We increased our discount, what's going to happen to our present value? Well, our present value should fall, right? So we'll, we'll just check that here on, on our math. And so what we're going to have here is going to be 1 plus what? It'll be 0.1 for 10%, okay? And that's raised to the first power, which means that it's going to be worth $90.91, okay? We have a present value of 90.91. We had a present value before of 95.24, and that is the difference there, right? We had a 5% discount, now we're at a 10% discount. Now, please keep in mind here, when we did this, is that we set a 5% discount. Your initial thought here, right, when we take a 5% discount off of 100 is we're gonna have $95 even. That isn't exactly the case because what we're doing here is that we are taking the present value, that 95.24, 
and that's basically adding a 5% interest rate on, the, on top of that. And 5% of 9524 is going to be, you guessed it, $4.76. Basically, 476 plus 9524 equals that $100. Right. And, and, you know, all, on, on all this stuff, check my math, right? Just make sure that I'm, I'm giving you the, the right information, okay? All right, and that's the, the basic process of discounting.